Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Big Bend. So this is the 2021 Ford Bronco Big Bend painted in rapid red metallic. You do have the arched fenders here of course with the 17 inch alloy wheels. This Bronco is sold but we did want to make this video just to show you what you can get when you do order it. This one has the mid package so a few other options that were spec on it. Getting on the outside, getting in, you do have your frameless door window uh, doors because you know the doors do come off of the Bronco. You do have your latch in here to unlock and unlock them. You have the connections in here. It's very straightforward. You have the toolkit to do everything you need. You get the nice safety nets on the side of the door as well as your grab handle. This one has the cloth manual seats for both passenger and driver. Both seats are heated. You have your modular hard roof, so this comes off in sections and easy to store just in your garage as well as the doors you can carry with you in the back of the Bronco. You do have your nice grab handle help you get in and out of the Ford Bronco. And then taking a look on the inside you do have the start stop button, LED lighting system with your auto high beams. You have a six inch cluster here. This is a nice digital. You have a lot of info built in here so you have your off-road section You've got your tire pressure, your my view you can configure, a comm screen, your fuel economy, and various trip settings. You can go in here and you can switch this up even more. You can view more in-depth trip into fuel. You can view more in-depth uh, off-roading. You can bring up your navigation here if you'd like to set up your home destination or any points of interest. Same with your phone. You can take your phone calls, listen to your own music. Audio, you do have AM, FM, and satellite radio. And then various settings as well. On the steering wheel itself, you do have your lane keep assist here, your volume controls, and your cruise controls. Your blinker stock is located back there, and then on the right is your hands-free calling and your menu controls for that infotainment screen. Up above your infotainment, you have a nice little storage area here. You do have your trail turn assist, so this helps you take sharper turns on the trails. Same with traction control and your floorway flashers. Moving down, though, you do have an 8-inch infotainment screen here on the Bronco. Your nice home screen preview shows your navigation, your radio, and your phone if it's connected. You can go in here, set your presets, switch over to satellite radio. You have your navigation. This is where you're going to be able to find all the nearest trails you'd like to go venture down in your Ford Bronco. You do need to set up Ford Pass to enable all the features. Various settings in the Bronco. You do have your radio settings, your vehicle settings. This is mainly just your max idle, your rear occupant alert, and then you can set up your remote start system, the windows, the wipers, and the lighting. General settings here, this is your units, your touchscreen beep, and more info. Swiping over, you have connectivity, so you do have your wireless hotspot on the Ford Bronco, so you can pair a work laptop to it or your phone and get a bit of a hotspot signal if you want to work out in the wilderness. And then you have various features, such as the driver's assistance. This is where you can get, get your lane keep assist, your pre-collision, your rear view camera. Which I put it in reverse, this is your rear view camera here with your parking sensors your blind spot, your park aid sensors, your cross traffic, and your driver's alert system. You do have your vents on the side here, nice and rugged, easy to use. And then further down, you do have your climate system, dual zone climate here, heated seats, like mentioned, and then you get your fans. Uh, this design was taken out of the new F-150 lineup, which looks really nice in here as well. Further down, you do have a nice cubby section with two USB ports there. You've got your Ford assembly chassis uh, stamp of approval there, built by Michigan. And then you have your Ford Bronco logo on the shifter, as well as your goat modes, two high, four low, four automatic, or four high, sorry. And then you have your trail control. It's essentially, this is traction or cruise control for the trail, so you can set it at like one or two kilometers an hour. Your goat modes here, you do have normal, you've got eco, sport, slippery, and mud and ruts, as well as sand. And then that would be it. So these are basically if you put it in mudded ruts, it'll shift it into 4x4 four four for you and then takes over and helps you out through those harder to get through sections when you're out off-roading in the Bronco. Switch it over to normal, everything goes back and then you're good to go there. Your window controls are actually located in the center because the doors do come off like mentioned and then you can still control your mirrors as well because the mirrors do stay on there attached to a different pillar than the door. You have another grab handle here for your rear your passenger there and then your center console this opens up and you can put all your goodies in there 
up top you do have a controller or a, a spot here for your sunglasses and then once again the roof is modular so you do have the latches up top but these all turn to the side and then you push up and it's very easy to take apart and store by yourself coming around towards the back of the ford bronco you do have your spare tire mounted on the back with the tail light your backup camera is actually located right in the middle of that Further down, you do have your license plate and a tow hook on the side. And then getting inside the Bronco, you just pull on this handle. This opens up all the way, like so. And then you can open up the glass portion. And then this reveals the trunk space of your Ford Bronco. When you do have the hard top off, you're going to have these pillars exposed. So your speakers are actually located in the pillars. So you're not going to lose any of your, your music uh, when you're out off-roading with the roof and doors off. You do have this nice rubber mat back here. You have some bags here for storage, and then you have nice storage on the side as well. You have a 12 volt outlet back here. You can plug any uh, any outlets in there for, and then you have your LED light with a Bronco logo on that as well. Really nice to see there. Under here, you do have just another storage system with your spare tire tool and your fuel nozzle, and you can hide some stuff under there if you'd like to. When you do take the side pillar off of this unplugs and it actually plugs into there so it's not flying around. Really smart of Ford to think of that. And that is the rear end of the Bronco. Getting into the back seat of the Ford Bronco, you still have the same design on the door. You got your, your latch and your lock here. You get a nice cargo net for storage on the door. And then you have the cloth rear seats as well. Rubber floor mats with a nice big Bronco logo in the center. But getting in, grab handle to help you get up. And then you have a cubby system behind the seat. And then further down, you have your window controls for the rear windows and then more charge ports back here, as well as that nice big Bronco logo, just to remind you that, hey, you're in a Bronco. And as you can see here, this rear roof part actually is all one big piece. You have a latch there, a latch there, latch there, here, and up there. And that all comes off as one, super easy to take off. And then you get a nice look at the interior of the Bronco as well, very spacious very uh, mundane and very compact as well. And we'll take a look up towards the front. Also, you do have your side steps to help you get in and out of the Ford Bronco, your big Ben badging, and then your mirrors here, they're on a separate pillar, which is nice to see. You got that nice radio antenna there. Then we'll jump up front with your front end of the Bronco. You got your fog lights installed on this one, your LED lighting system, high beams, low beams, and your fog lights are all LED. You have active grill shutters hidden in back there as well. So if you're interested in ordering yourself a 2021 or 2022 Ford Bronco from us, make sure to visit us at mcfeeford.com. We thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.